Virgo. What do we have for Virgo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Who's coming towards you? Who is coming towards you, Virgo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. This is for singles. Okay, because the singles, I mean, if you're in a couple, you shouldn't be you shouldn't be wondering who's coming towards you because you know you gotta get free first. So this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we got for the singles? Oh wow. That's wonderful, isn't it? Ooh, we got some anger, perhaps, some bitterness, some resent. Over a partnership that is probably, there could be some arguments. There could be some arguments going on here. <clears throat> Defending yourself. You may not want a partnership. Maybe you're, you're like, right now you're angry. You could be, you could be at a point where you're not ready. You're not, you don't want one right now. Maybe you're like, a, if you're single, this is for singles, right? You're single. You may be dealing with some animosity within yourself. You may be dealing with some anger. You may be resentful. You may be bitter. Maybe you just want to be alone. Maybe you don't want a partnership. Maybe you're pushing people away because you're not. You don't want it right now. You're like maybe things are too chaotic in your life. Maybe things are turned upside down. Maybe you're frustrated with life in general. I don't know. This is frustrated. Maybe you're moody. You're temperamental. Maybe you're not really looking for a relationship. This is protecting yourself, putting your guard up. Um, yeah, things are a little chaotic. Like I said, things are unbalanced right now. You may even not want to take that step into a partnership. Maybe you're not ready for a union. You may be, maybe you were dealing with an individual in the past that was had a really big ego, somebody that was self-centered and uh, conceited. And now maybe you're, you're just like, you know, I'm not ready. i got to heal. Maybe you're not healed yet. You could have been dealing with a real jerk. Um, this is a false sense of security. This is a rude awakening. This is a rude awakening. Somebody may have gotten a rude awakening or something is about to change or that has changed drastically in your life. Maybe there was a major um, shock that, that came into your life and now you're just pushing people away. You're just like, no, I have to rebuild myself. You know, I have to rebuild my foundation within myself feels as though there's been somebody there's been a situation where there's definitely been some chaos there's been some upheaval there's been some uh, some sort of uh, misalignment per se and now you've got your guard up you're probably setting up a boundary and not letting anybody come close because there's been some sort of it's almost like a disaster okay something has ended in disaster and you're probably you probably just want to escape. You probably don't. You probably feel like you want to escape. You maybe, maybe you know somebody may want you to work together with them, and you're probably like, no, I don't want to. Something like that. Um, it's like you're not willing to compromise right now. Um, I think this. There's a feeling of liberation here. I just want to be alone. I just, I just want to be alone. I mean, that's what I see. I feel like you may feel like you've been cheated, you've been lied to, you, you're probably, um, you may have broken free from a partnership recently and now you're just protecting yourself, you're just not ready. That's what it looks like to me. There could be a third party situation that has just ended and now you're you're just things are too chaotic things are upside down you don't want to get involved you don't want to get in a partnership right now that's what it looks like to me i mean i mean that's exactly what it is it feels like somebody has just ended a deceptive situation and where it wasn't stable and secure and you and, it, and you need to heal you need time to heal so healing hasn't completely happened yet so virgo i feel like you were dealing with an individual that um basically stole your energy and you, you need time you it's not time you need time you need time to recuperate that's what it looks like to me this person may have snuck away this person you know I'm not sure what this is this person um, may have left you and now you know 
you have to heal. So it feels to me like somebody has been deceived or they've been lied to, or they may feel like they've been cheated, they, or they have been cheated. I mean, there could have been some cheating going on here. I don't know. King of Swords, somebody was probably dealing with an abusive situation. And you definitely need time to heal when you get out of something like that. So I feel like it's just not time. It's just not time. Um, you have to invest. You need to plant your seeds. You need to nurture yourself. You need to nurture your... your I just listened to them birds. I'm sorry. Um... I don't know if you can hear them. Sorry, they distracted me. Anyway, um, this is relocation. Plant your seeds someplace else and give it time. Time. It takes time to manifest. It takes time to grow. It takes time and you have to nurture. You have to be realistic. You have to be practical. You have to invest in rebuilding. You have to invest in growth and that takes time. You have to be patient. So I feel like you guys really need to take time to rebuild yourself up after getting out of a, it's like a deceptive situation where there was abuse. It's like you were dealing with a real egotistical son of a gun that has made you bitter and resentful and it's going to take time to heal and it ain't time yet. It's not time. I'm sorry. I don't see, I don't, I see you guys guarding yourself and pushing people away because I see that there's like bitterness here. There's anger. There's, it's almost like there's, and there's sadness too. There's sadness. It's emotional. It is an emotional time because it's just, I think that somebody's been cheated, you know, they've been cheated on or something like that. There's, there's something like that. I don't know. And now there's, there's a process. There's a process that needs to happen before you are ready for a new relationship. So if you're single and watching this, I, th I see you not wanting to let anybody in because you need time to heal. There's bitterness, there's anger, there's resent. I'm not looking for love right now. So yeah, I feel, I mean, if you are, if you are single and everything is good, then this reading isn't for you. There's, well, you know, this isn't, it's like there's no offer of love coming in this week because you need to heal. And I don't care what anybody says, that is what this is. Things are too chaotic. Things are upside down. There's too much going on. Things are unbalanced. There's no harmony. There's pettiness. There's drama. There's some sort of false foundation that has crumbled down and now you have to work hard to rebuild. That's where we're at, Virgo. So, yeah, that's where we're at. I feel like, I feel like it's not time. You need to be patient. You need to continue to nurture yourself. You need to continue to invest in yourself. You need to protect yourself. There's a reason. This is a reason. There's a reason why things don't work out. There's a bigger purpose here. I see you guys saying no. That's what I see this week. And I think it's because there is a relationship or a partnership that has ended. And you need time to heal. That's what I got, Virgo.